Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy. Today I am working on some of these pumpkins that I grew in my 2021 season garden. Um, these were the green pumpkins that I had harvested um, just before we had a frost. I didn't want to lose them to frost, so I had pulled them early and I ripened them in my greenhouse, like cold frame greenhouse. And these are them, you know, months later, I harvested them, I believe it was in September, and they ripened up really nicely. So this is what they look like. This was them when I harvested them. Um, if you've seen that video, uh, you will probably were doubting me, <laughs> but I will link the video of this pumpkin harvest below so I can explain how we do it here in the northern climate to ripen green pumpkins in our very short season. Um, yeah, we had some nice ones this year. Anyways, these are the two. I had two varieties. I had the jack of all trade, trades, which is the left one, and then the one that was on the right, that one there that I'm cutting into, it was the New England pumpkin pie um pumpkin and so i'm just kind of comparing them to see how you know what, what they are like um usually the jack of all trades is much larger because they are more of a jack-o-lantern pumpkin um, but they um this one was smaller it didn't get as big so you can see they look pretty similar in size it looks as though that the jack of all trades has less seeds but in fact it had more seeds um and they were plump and good um i bet you i could plant that seed and it would grow a plant um they were really nice and i actually saved them for roasting and for dehydrating as dewormer for my animals this pumpkin was the was a little bit easier to clean out it was much drier and the seeds were not as developed so i just tossed them into the compost um, for chicken feed and um, it, it was a lot easier to clean than the jack of all trades so th that's something to consider depending on what you're growing them for the jack of all trade it was um i had two products i had the product of the flesh and then i had the seeds where the new england pumpkin pie one i just had the flesh and i couldn't really salvage the seeds in this method that i'm i'm use, doing for growing the food in our short season so just something to reference if you are wanting to find a pumpkin that has um you that's more versatile for a short season the jack of all trades seems to be the better option for me personally um for what i use because i'm getting multiple products out of one plant so or one squash so what i'm doing is i am just cutting out the inside because i'm roasting these and then i'm going to freeze dry them and puree that up or well, not puree it but powder it up so i'm making a, a pumpkin powder out of roasted pumpkin and then I'm I dehydrated the seeds now this is gonna be some soup that I'm making um, it is just for lunch and I'm going to double that as a pasta sauce that I'm gonna use for dinner as well tonight which will be a different video but I leave the peels on squash you can eat the peels and they're actually really nutritious. Most people don't because they're really tough and they take longer to cook. So it's a huge time saver just to throw the peels on in there, get the extra nutrition, get the beautiful color. In this situation, it didn't really matter because I was going to be cooking these for a long period of time, cooking it down and then pureeing it. It didn't really matter whether it had peels on or not. So it worked well for me. So I also chopped up two small onions and three large cloves of garlic and I just threw it on in there. I just left the garlic basically whole because it was going to be cooking and again I was going to be pureeing this. It was just a really quick and easy meal to get on the stove and while I was processing pumpkins um, for preserve food preservation. So basically, I found some broth. This was vegetable broth that I had made this fall when I was bringing vegetables out of the garden and processing them for uh, salsa and pasta sauce. I was keeping the bits and I made a vegetable broth out of it and canned it up. So I used that and I just boiled it together on the stove until everything was really nice and tender. And then I just put my immersion blender, blender in there and just gave it a really good blend till it was nice and smooth. I did follow a recipe. I added a half of a teaspoon, or sorry, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of 
pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I also added approximately a half of a cup of cream. You could use coconut milk, which I would have liked to have used instead, but I needed to use this cream up. And then I used some maple syrup that I had made. Um, and then it wasn't quite the flavor profile that I like. I like it a little bit more seasoned. So I added a tablespoon of both granulated garlic and granulated onion. I also added some more pepper and salt and I did actually add a little bit more nutmeg as well as um, some vegetable broth powder that I had about a table or a teaspoon of that just to give it some more flavor and I just gave it a nice stir. I did actually also add more cream. I think it was about three quarters of a cup of cream total that I had put into this, which would be equivalency to about the coconut cream you would get in a can. So I tasted it, I liked it, but my opinion really doesn't matter. So we have to see what the professional says and how many stars he gives this dish. Let's find out. It's good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Lots of pumpkin. What? It tastes like lots of pumpkin. So did you give it a score? Probably like another 10. I love pumpkin stuff. Hmm. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So for dinner, uh, this was actually a previous night when Chaz wasn't at home. Um, he was at his mom's. Um, I decided to use up some of these ribs. Now, if you've seen other videos, you know how much I despise beef ribs. But I wanted to get these out of the freezer since it is a pantry challenge. So first I added salt and pepper to the ribs and then I added some granulated onions. These were freeze dried onions and they're just chopped up or diced up into little minced pieces then I added some um gosh I think that was pepper <laughs> um and then I added some banana peppers these were banana peppers that I had canned in a sweeter brine and I canned them up with some pepper flakes and I just dumped the whole works in there um I don't really like these peppers so I'm trying to find creative ways to use them they're just they don't taste like the peppers that I was intending them to so I'm just trying to use them up then I added some granulated garlic this is freeze-dried garlic as well um, but it's it's basically it's granulated garlic next I added Worcestershire I can't even say it I know it bothers you guys that my area up here calls it Worcestershire but that's how they say it because we're redneck hillbilly so get over it then I added some barbecue sauce and this was the homemade barbecue sauce that I had made and I just baked, I, I uh, pressure cooked it, served it with some baked potatoes and um, sour cream and just chopped up ch uh, carrots since Tyson was home and he only likes raw vegetables. It was okay. I really, I don't like beef ribs. I, I enjoyed these. Tyson ate two servings and I had my one serving and it was really, really good. I didn't mind it. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that Tyson is, an, is a very fussy eater. He is my husband and he oftentimes will just not eat. So I do have to be really creative. There's a few things that he really dislikes. He does not like chicken breast. He does not like cooked vegetables and he absolutely hates rice. And today in this dinner, he... And so I was kind of planning this um, for to make and so I just decided to make it anyways simply because I had injured myself really badly this week um, wiping out on the ice two times so I decided to just go ahead and make this dinner because it was so easy uh, basically I just cut some chicken breasts horizontally I seasoned it with salt and pepper and I actually added some garlic to it as well um, granulated garlic and granulated onion and I just seasoned it and I kind of let it marinate while I did the other preparations to this dish, which was basically a dump and go kind of version of, um, a, or a version of a casserole. So what I did is I just took a cup of rice and dumped it into a baking dish. And then I found some of my home canned, um, or sorry, home freeze dried, homegrown home freeze dried beans. Um, these are yellow bush beans and purple peacock beans that I had grown in 2021. 
I love these beans. They're just so awesome. They actually will turn, the purple ones will turn green as they cook. So even after they're freeze dried, so that's really cool. And the beauty about cooking with freeze dried ingredients is you can just crush them up. For my liquid in here, I just added a about one cup, so half of a quart of uh, home canned bone broth, chicken bone broth that I had made. And I just gave it a little bit of a stir to make sure that all the rice was hydrated. And then I just put the chicken breast, um, the cut chicken breast on top of that and tried to fit it in there as best as I could. This is some homemade salsa that I made. It's a really thick and chunky salsa. I used all homegrown ingredients, just about. I had, I did buy a few things to make this um, salsa a few weeks ago, but um, it was really good because it's nice and thick and then I topped it with cheese. I can only get Tyson to eat food with two ingredients. If, if I put a whole bunch of cheese on something he dislikes and salsa on something he dislikes, he will eat it. So that's what I did. He actually ate two and a half servings of this. He went back for seconds and then he went back for more again. So a little bit more again. So he really did like this dish. It had a lot of really great flavor and I would call that a win absolute win so i got him to eat vegetables and i got him to eat rice and he didn't complain and he even had more so um this is a really easy dish i was able to ice my knee and ice my ankle and have very minimal cleanup and really didn't take a lot of work for me it was it was just a win so if you're looking for a meal that is so easy to do this would be one i would highly recommend super easy and it's actually quite nutritious except for like the five pounds of cheese that i put onto it it was tasty i hope you enjoyed this i hope it inspired you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye for now